when Gaza media first got the news from anonymous source that Her Royal Highness Marfa Fontem Asson Christina autobiography is being published, we wanted to confirm the news before bringing it to the public. Our senior reporter Gileb Atemken decided to visit her in her palace in Chang, where she gave a preview of what the public should be expecting. Her Royal Highness, the Marfa of Fontaine. It is true, I have written a book, my autobiography. This book is titled Christine Gubete Asson, Her Royal Highness, the Marfa of Fontaine, My Struggle to Live the Will of God. In this book, you are going to find how and where I was born, how I lived my childhood life, the influence of my father on my upbringing, how I did things the way I did them, and how I continue to do things that way now. It also highlights how I met Kiara Lubick, the founders of the popular movement, and it shows the influence of the popular movement, the ideology of Kiara, of love one another as I have loved you, that influence on my life. Yes, the struggle to live the will of God, it has been mine, because Kiara tells us that what is necessary is to live the present moment and to do the will of God. And that's what, in my life, I have struggled to do, and struggling to do that has sometimes landed me in difficulties. So, you are going to get all that in that book. She also explained what motivated her, citing that she was encouraged by friends and relatives, even her own children. If you live without patterning your life on the life of Jesus, I think it is a waste of life. And what has helped me a lot to, to, to know that you can live the Gospels practically is the popular movement. I try to do that all the time. And since I face so many challenges, falling, rising, falling and rising, my children kept urging me, write a book, write a book. You know a lot. You have done a lot. Apart from that, my sister-in-law, Canisia Fontem, who lived in Chang and saw all that I went through, kept urging me to. Then Mr. Tezano, who was the assistant mayor when I was a counselor in Chang, he too kept urging me. So I said to him, but you are urging me. You are French speaking. If I write a book, you won't be able to read it. And he said, you have a lot to offer for the world. Unfortunately, this book has come out when he is no longer there. The princess said she hoped that many would learn from her challenges and will be able to scope with theirs. People are going to learn a lot how they can cope with their own uh, challenges too. The book is 140 pages of intriguing stories and three page, color pages of pictures Large life. Royal Majesty, Marfa Fontaine further said the book will be released in July and launching will take place in December 2022 in her palace located in Chang, Manual Division of the Western Regions of Cameroon. The book is being published now, but it's going to come out in July 2022. The book is going to be launched in Chang on the 17th of December 2022, during the celebration of my life, my children have really uh, insisted that the book be launched on that day. And they kept urging me, Mommy, you know a lot. You have done a lot for many people. Write a book, write a book. So this book is going to be launched on that day. Thank you so much, Her Majesty. 
I believe that uh, Gaza Media will be a part of this event. So you are sending this out as an invitation to all, inviting them to be a part of this grand launching. Event. Yes, thank you. That is the that is the thing. I want as many people who know me as possible. The invitations may not reach everybody, but please, you are all welcome. Remember, nobody sends away anybody from the palace. You are all welcome. While the public is waiting for the book to be released, Gaza Media will continue to bring you updates and other community-related stories. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch our production, share our videos, and leave your comment. Behind the microphone, I'm NS Kumba.